God's call by the uncle about the highway. 7.54. It's time for News Extra. And here's Kevin Mooney. Thank you, Dennis. Good morning, everyone. We're going to talk Valley Voices today, and that's always a lot of fun. Brad Roney here, the director, and we have Tim Daniels for good measure to uh, be here. Uh, I was trying to explain why we might have you here, and I, good measure, I guess, is, is what I'm thinking. Oh, is that a pun? That's a pun, I guess. I don't know. We'll but anyway, figure we'll figure it out. So uh, you guys have your concert coming up uh, Sunday over at the High School Auditorium at 3 o'clock. And, man, I'm looking at your list of stuff here. That's this, this good stuff you're going to have. We, we have a pretty full concert. I, I wanted, since we haven't in the last few years done a spring concert, I wanted to put a few just standard choral pieces that are great songs on there. Uh, so we have a few of those and then uh, just a nice variety of Christmas music. So, yeah. Some sacred, some just uh, secular, uh, just a lot of variety, fun stuff. Yeah. You have, like, uh, Joy to the World, and, and you're going to sing uh, uh, Jingle, are you going to sing Jingle Bells? I don't say it necessarily on here, but I imagine you it might get it out. It doesn't, but that opportunity is there. <laughs> we're having a, an old-fashioned carol sing, so we're going to uh, invite the audience to join us and uh, just sing some carols that don't get sung very often, and, and the typical audience goer doesn't get the chance to sing some of that stuff. Yeah. So we're going to invite the audience to join and just have a kind of that old-fashioned Sunday night hymn sing feel. Yeah. Uh, we're just with Christmas carols. So yeah. We're going to drag a mic around, Kevin, so we're going to come to you... <laughs> hear how you sound. Hear how I sound? Not very good. Johnny One Note. That's what they called me at high school. So. Well, that one note is important. Yeah, one note. I guess. Happens occasionally, I can hit so. that one note when it comes up. Yeah. You know? So, uh, so anyway, so that's that's really good. How many members you got in the in Valley Voices now? Well, we're about forty-two ish at this point in time. You know, people come, people go, people get busy, their lives change, and that sort of thing. So. It's down to a little over 40. Yeah, that's good. That's all right. All right. And uh, a lot of these folks have been with Valley Voices for a long time. Tim's been with them for 15 years. Other people probably a lot longer than that, huh? You know, one of the first rehearsals I asked, how long have you been a part of Valley Voices? And we have we had a number who were, the, you know, their first year. Um, and we had some who have been in it for 50, 60 years. Yeah. And uh, uh, were there any that had been since it started? Do you remember? I don't know if we have that now, but yeah. I think we did have a couple yeah. that had been there from yeah. inception. Yeah. Okay. All right, let me get the mic right over here to Tim so we can kind of ask him. So what what got you to join Valley Voices 15 years ago, the year the tornado kind of interrupted everything? <laughs> well, at that particular point, um, Gary Bacon was directing the choir, and it was going to be a 50th anniversary concert. And all of the previous directors of Valley Voices, or uh, the, the various names across the years, were going to come back and have part of that concert. And my work schedule had been just so bad that uh, I couldn't make it very frequently, but it, it happened to be that year that things were changing a little bit. So that's when I started back up, and that concert was just a blast. My first vocal music director, E. B. Ely, was, was here, you know, and, and Dr. Ely was just really fun to work with again, as well as the, the other people that had been yeah. around, including yeah. Rita and uh, yeah. Julie Pingale, Schaff, yeah. and a few others. Yeah, so a lot of fun. A lot of fun. And now it's 65 years, and for Brad, that's, I mean, you could you got to feel pretty good to be the director on the... This is kind of a milestone milestone year, isn't it? Sixty five. It is, and it, it, this is a you know really fun group and quite an age span um, of the members. But yeah, it's it's a big honor to be uh, in front of the group. Um, you know, you rehearse with people week in and week out who are just simply there for the passion of singing. They love music and they're committed to it. There's no grade attached. There's no paycheck. There's no anything. In fact, yeah. they have to give up a lot to be there, and it just it's always neat to stand in front of a group like that. That um, uh, their heart really is is in making music, and you know, it's just a lot of fun. And there's a lot of uh, musical experience. They read very well, uh, which is always fun to you know, stand in front of a group that, that sight reads well. Yeah, yeah. Kevin, Kevin, I'd really like to add that without the support of guys like Brad and all 
the other directors that we have, this organization could not survive. We have had some outstanding leadership, and we have a lot of fun with them. We make them work hard. Uh, we make them come up with some good music for us to challenge and, and to have us work with, but we wouldn't be able to survive without, without our directors. Yeah, yeah, I agree with you. All right, we'll bring uh, Tim and uh, Brad back here just for a few final words right after this break. Okay. Remind them again, 3 o'clock Sunday. 7-3 and 3. And, seven, three and three. Yeah. That's what it is. And you might mention your uh, high school concert yeah. while we're doing it, okay? I will do that. That would be a good idea. And you got an intermission. Is there cookies and any of that stuff? There is not. We're okay. no martinis. Yeah. Mark, uh, <laughs> bring your own. All right, back on News Extra, some final thoughts here with Brad Roney and Tim Daniels about the Valley Voices concert coming up this Sunday. Just kind of remind folks what time, where it's at. And it's 3 o'clock, Scottsbluff High School. Uh, tickets can be purchased from any Valley Voices member or at the door. Um, There's $7 for adults, uh, $40 for students, and 10 and under are free. It's quite a bargain. Yeah, it really is. And we should mention that the high school... You're going to have the high school uh, next week yes, for their Christmas concert, Tuesday right? Tuesday the 9th. Uh, next week is full of concerts between all the ensembles. But Tuesday the 9th, uh, 7 p.m. at Scottsdale High School is the high school vocal concert. Uh, and always a fun evening. So. Yeah. yeah. So he's a busy guy right now. <laughs> and uh, probably will be up through all the way through next week. And then when's the last day of school? Uh, the 19th, whatever that Friday is. Yeah. yeah, something like that. Yeah. All right. And on to musical. So. Yeah. Yeah, oh, what is a musical this year? Uh, we're doing Mary Poppins this year. Oh, cool. Yeah. All right. Brand new for high schools. So All right. Here we go. Good deal. All right. We appreciate it. Brad Roney and Tim Daniels here from the Valley Voices. Make sure you get out there on Sunday afternoon over at the Scottsville High School Auditorium, 3 o'clock.